We all know that you can use these pitchers for water, juice, maybe cold tea, but you can actually use these for so many things. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the best hacks. Welcome to my channel DIY Home and Crafts. For today's video, I'm going to share with you some really cool hacks that you can do using these um, juice jars or mugs or pitchers that you can get at Dollar Tree or other dollar stores. They are very cheap, inexpensive, and you can use them as decor pieces. And of course, I'm going to show you how you can do it on a budget with a high-end look. So I hope that you like this video, these ideas. If you do, please a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. And guys, let's get started. Let's do it together I went to the dollar store and I was looking for some things that I can use for my next project and I found a huge selection of juice jars pictures and these super cool rattan mugs they're plastic they're very cheap but you can do so many things with them and in today's video I'm going to show you a few hacks that you can do using these pictures juice jars and rattan mugs for the first project I'm going to be using just a very random piece of wood that I have at home and you can also use maybe a sign from Dollar Tree on the back side I'm going to be adding this tooth hanger to be able to hang these on my walls once I add the tooth hanger on the back I'm going to be putting three nails on the front of this wooden piece um, make sure that the nails that you're going to use are pretty long because these are going to be like some hangers for the pictures that we are going to be using next I found these pictures at the dollar store and I really love the shape that they have and they're very cheap so I'll, I decided to use them I don't like the color so I'm going to change that for this Riverly shock paint in moss color I love to paint with a shock paint it's super easy and it dries so fast so what I'm going to do is to paint these um, pictures with two really good coats of paint and I'm going to let them dry make sure that when you are painting uh, just try to paint like in one direction so that your project and the paint is going to look uniform and good and it's going to have this high-end look you can also use maybe spray paint if you want or acrylic paint and in between coats I'm going to be using my heat tool to dry everything faster Once the three pictures are dry, I'm going to be adding them to my piece of wood. Like I said, they're going to be hanging on the nails that I just put on the wood piece. And once I have that part ready, basically the project is done. Super easy and it looks beautiful. Now what you can do is to add some flowers or greenery inside of the pictures. I found this greenery at Dollar Tree and I really like it so I add that. And I hang my project on the wall and this is how it looks love the results super easy on a budget looks beautiful just one idea that you can do with the pictures that you can find at the dollar stores For the next project, I'm going to be using these rattan mugs that I found. They cost me only $1.25. They come in two different colors and I really love the rattan touch that they have. Now you can do so many things with these type of uh, mugs or jars or pitchers. I'm going to show you just one easy simple hack that you can try. You can also use a basket um, from Dollar Tree from the Easter season or the spring season to recreate this project. 
now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut the top part of this mug as you can see it has like a handle i'm going to be using a, a really good pairs of scissors and i'm going to cut that part with my scissors i need these to be like a bucket i need these to have a straight edge so i'm going to be cutting that but like i said you can also use maybe a basket or maybe a bucket once i have that part ready this is how it's going to look now i also need a charger you can find these at dollar tree they come in different colors and what i'm going to do is to stick that with the mug that i just cut i'm going to be using hot glue it's gonna dry super faster but you can also use a stronger glue maybe like e6000 i'm going to stick those pieces together and once i have that part ready i'm going to be painting them you can leave them the same color as they are but i want everything to look in just one color like one piece so i'm going to be using some spray paint in, in flat white color and i'm going to spray paint this outside let it dry and this is how my project turns out it's a really nice cupcake stand that you can use to put maybe cupcakes it's not food saved but you can add maybe some napkins on top and then add the cupcakes or cookies or you can use it as a decor piece for your home it's beautiful i love the basket texture that this project has and I think it's perfect for spring. For the next project, I'm going to be using this pitcher that I found. I don't like the color that it has at all, but I love the shape that it has. So first, I'm going to be um, removing all of the stickers and the labels that it has. And one hack that you can do is to use a heat tool, add the heat on the tape, and then it's super easy to remove any tape or label. Um, I'm using this heat tool. I get it from Amazon, and I'm going to leave you the link in the description box once everything is clean i'm going to paint this outside i'm going to be using some spray paint in white color i'm going to give it one really good coat of paint and then let it dry once that it's dry um this is how my picture looks now and i think it's a huge difference i love how it looks now some paint and it completely transform my picture now if you want to add like an extra touch you can add some paint uh, maybe on the bottom part of the picture so many decor pieces have these detail and i think that look pretty nice and your project is done it's super easy to style it you can add some greenery inside or maybe flowers and this is how beautiful high-end your project is going to look like so easy and cheap to make and it's going to add a huge difference on any space For this next project, I'm going to be using this juice jar with lead that I found at the dollar store and I love the shape that it has. The shape that this juice jar have reminds me to all of the Radon brand decor pieces that you can find maybe at Marshalls and stores like that that are pretty expensive. So let's recreate that using my Cricut. I made an easy decal that says lemonade in black color and then I'm going to stick that on my juice jar and that's it guys this is how the project turned out I really like it I think it completely elevates the look of this juice jar love the color that it comes with it and I love the shape like I said perfect now for the spring and the summer season to use it as a decor piece but but it's also functional For this next project, I'm going to be using this rectang mug in this color. I really, really love the texture of this mug. 
so i'm going to leave it just like that but i'm going to be adding some more texture on this product first i'm going to use my Waverly wax in antique color you can use maybe some acrylic paint too and i'm going to be adding those on the edges on the top and the bottom just to give it like an h look then I'm going to dry everything super fast using my heat tool. Now to add the texture, I'm going to be using some of these moss in green color that you can get at Dollar Tree or maybe Walmart. And what I'm going to do is to stick that on this rattan mug. Um, to be able to stick that, I'm going to be using hot glue. You can use maybe another glue if it's easier for you. But the hot glue is going to dry super fast. What I'm going to do is to take like a chunk piece of the moss and I'm going to add that on the hot glue and once I'm done adding all of the moss I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut any excess of moss that my project can have just to make it look better once I have that part ready my project is basically done um, you can add some greenery if you want or you can add some flowers like I did in white color which I think it looks beautiful or maybe you can add some eggs on top for Easter something like that and this is how the project turned out super easy on a budget love all of the textures and the color that this project have and i hope that you like it too my loves i really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you like all of the hacks that you can do with the jars and pictures that you can get from the dollar store if you like this video please a big thumbs up let me know in the comments which of these five ideas is one of your favorites make sure that you are subscribed and please follow me on all the social media pages my web page jessamai.com and my other channel just on my home of the links in the description box thank you for the love and support and see you on the next one bye guys <laughs>